A 24-year-old man was today killed by an irate mob in Magarini, Kilifi County after he attacked and killed his father, Karisa Mwaiha. Islam Karisa is said to have descended on his father after he was denied permission to harvest mangoes from the family farm. The happenings in Kilifi come even as Kotu Secretary General Francis Atwoli announced that the union would be leading arbitration talks between teachers' unions in the country that have threatened to cripple the education sector from next Next week, Kamau Mwangi, um, that is from next week, and Kamau Mwangi gives us more details on these and other stories. Wales of a village in mourning, shattered after 24-year-old Islam Karisa descended on his father Karisa Mwaiha with a machete, ending his life. The rage, according to villagers, occasioned by a dispute that had seen Islam denied permission by his father to harvest mangoes from the farm. Karisa was later killed by an irate mob after the dismembered lifeless body of Mwaiha was found lying in the compound by neighbors. Meanwhile, in Kirinyaga County, Kotu Secretary General Francis Atuoli has announced that the workers' union is trying to avert a crisis in the education sector as schools prepare to reopen for the third term next week. Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, KUPET, gave a seven-day strike notice today following in the footsteps of their counterparts in universities and primary schools. Tunataka kuweka agenda ya walimu wetu vende. Kama kotu sasa. Hili kama itawezekana watu wa treasury watu wa, wa universities na watu wa school zote ambao na pia waziri wa wa elimu wakutane na nyinyi mapema waangalie ni njia gani wanaweza kukua na agreement na nyinyi Miles away in Wasingishu County Governor Jonathan B's deputy John Barorot has resigned Barorot says he quit the county after finding greener pastures elsewhere So I go with my head high that when we are here, we've worked very well with Jonathan B. I'm going because of an opportunity that has arisen, which is time-bound. It is not something that you will say, delay that transformation. Nobody can delay it. And finally, it is temporary reprieve for businessman Agnes Devani after Milimani magistrate Thomas Nzioki released him on a Kenya shillings 5 million cash bail, having denied 11 counts of fraud leveled against him and his company Triton Petroleum. In his ruling, Nzioka also stated that Divani would answer to charges leveled against his company as well. Mr. Divani, you are barred from traveling out of the country. I know you are a businessman. Uh, please, uh, you should not leave the jurisdiction of the country without leave of the court. And for that, uh, you shall uh, then have to bring your passport so that we deposit it in the court. Kamau Mwangi, Citizen TV.